We're at South High where the Red Wings are getting ready to take on Green Bay West. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin and joining me is the coach Chris Wright. And Chris, our second homecoming game in two weeks and uh, what was that line in uh, Wayne's World? Party on Garth? <laughs> That's right, homecoming here at South, and uh, nothing that South needs more than a uh, little home cooking. Tough couple weeks on the road, a tough game up in Manitowoc and Notre Dame. Let's see if they can turn things around tonight. If conference stats mean anything, South definitely has the advantage. They've got the leading rusher in uh, Eric Donneville, and uh, they've got the second leading receiver in Lucas Wilson. We know Stubby's always dangerous. Uh, West, on the other hand, is lacking in uh, the stats department. Yeah, stats, we looked at the stat sheet just before, and you're right, West has nothing there. South dominated, you know, everywhere in the stat sheet, but where the South's been hurting right now, as of late, is turnovers. They gotta take care of the ball tonight, and like I said, nothing's better than coming home on homecoming and getting that job done. No, we don't like to report this, but it is a factor in the game. Uh, West is gonna be missing quite a few players tonight. Yeah, that's true. They have quite a few people, a couple of kids suspended from last weekend. And hey, you never uh, you know, apologize for your opponents. You just go out and uh, win the game. You can't worry about what West has. Uh, South's just got to take care of business and get back to what they were doing just uh, three weeks ago. Probably the big story tonight in terms of statistics is South is uh, ranked, uh, I think, fourth in the conference in uh, offense. West is ranked dead last in defense. Yeah, well, let's watch that uh, that offense. Let's see if Tim Stubbe can get going. Well, I expect Eric Donovan to just have a big game as well. Last week, uh, South also didn't throw the ball as much, so let's see if they kind of try to mix the pass in a little, at least to build some confidence because South does have to win two or three more games to get to the uh, playoffs, which will be the first time in their school history. This one is going to be huge, and it's going to be homecoming. You know South will be fired up. Stay tuned. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the opening kickoff for tonight's ball game. the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. Across the country, Americans are rolling up their sleeves to help each other. Showing true strength of character and kindness and compassion, spirit and enthusiasm. Together, we make America strong. Find out how you can serve, no matter where you are in life, at nationalservice.org. It's your world. It's your chance to make it better. Apply online at nationalservice.org and answer the president's call to service. Back at South High, where the Red Wings are getting ready to take on the Green Bay West Wildcats. Some future broadcasts you can pay attention to. Uh, next week, we'll finally catch Sheboygan Lutheran. They'll be at Kohler. And then on Saturday, Chris Wright will be missing that game. Uh, Tom Burr is going to step in and uh, take your spot, Chris. It's going to be uh, Concordia of Illinois at Lakeland College. So we can look for those uh, games next week on TV8. Our officials for tonight's game, uh, wearing the white hat for the officials is a Sheboyganite, Terry Verstrati. Also a Sheboygan area guys, I think this is a Sheboygan area crew, of Chris. Uh, Scott Otten, Dan Montgomery, Mike Gustafson, and Brian Grunewald. Those are our officials tonight. Well, you got a chance to talk with uh, Dave Hine, uh, Chris Hine's dad, and he had a couple of comments about last week's loss up in Manitowoc. Yeah, he kind of just said that a uh, couple big plays beat South, and uh, that's kind of one of the things that I think Coach Pfeiffer and his staff wants to get uh, settled down early today and not allow that and get back to Red Wing football that you did so well a couple weeks ago. Uh, you saw that moon before. I was talking to Dave Gianetti, who a uh, former sports writer and now uh, 
worker out at Lakeland College, and a school board member says that Red Moon is a symbol for a big red victory tonight. So let's see if that happens. Kick carries deep. It's taken by uh, Lessage. Lessage is dropped just over the 20-yard line. Luke Lessage on the return. It'll be first and 10, Green Bay West. Well, as we said before, Dave Hines said too, he said made a couple comments. Just like six big plays kind of uh, cost South last week, and uh, that's something they're going to try to, uh, like I said, get settled down a little bit early here and not allow that to take place. Kevin Dart, number 13, opens up at uh, quarterback for Green Bay West. Behind him is uh, Steve Baumkamp and Jesse Charles. Fake handoff, dart rolling. The left-hander cranks and throws, and it's, I don't know if it's intercepted, but it got batted up in the air. No, it drops to the turf, incomplete. Well, as you said, Kevin Dart, he's just a sophomore at quarterback. As you could see there on the rollout, you can also tell he's a left-hander. Couple, I recognize a couple of the names that play a little baseball for uh, Green Bay West at Bomb Camp. Um, Charles, I know they play a little baseball up at West, so must be some pretty good athletes. Whistles stop action. It's second and ten for Green Bay West. And that name Dart sounds familiar too. I think there was a couple former uh, Darts that have gone through uh, Green Bay West in the past. I remember that name also, Chris. Uh, can't remember their first name, but uh, certainly is familiar. Yeah, whistle is for offside on West, so that's going to be a five-yard penalty. Move the ball back to the 19-yard line. Dart hands it off to Lessage. He's hit and dropped. He's got it just over the 20-yard line, a short pickup. Good defense by South. Big third down right off the bat, Chris. West is gonna want to uh, probably pass this ball, I would think. Dart back, he fires a strike, it's complete. And that reception is not gonna be for a first down, it's made by uh, Jesse Charles. Well, yeah, good job there, allow the short little pass, but a good job there by uh, number 30, Matt Fister, defensive back. To Basically knock him out of bounds and uh, forced the Wildcats into a punt situation right off the bat. And with any luck here, good field position for South. As I'm looking at the flags, Marty, they aren't moving an ounce. Back deep to receive this uh, punt is Ben Miller. And it looks like we're gonna have uh, too much time on Green Bay West. I think they're gonna get motion on uh, number 15, Alex Schultz. You are absolutely right. I think uh, there's a lot of finger pointing that direction and when it's right in front of the south bench, how uh, they can help the officials. There you saw a shot of Coach Pfeiffer. Dave was pretty intense with his linemen prior to the game. I walked down over by him and got some of his starters. That punt is taken by uh, Eric Donoval. And he gets it up to uh, about the 48 or 49 yard line. They're actually gonna give him right at the 50. Well, let's see if South can go to work here. Last week, I believe on the second play, they scored and had a quick, quick early lead against Mantwalk. Stubbe's at quarterback, wide left is Travis Wilson. Lucas Wilson out to the right. Donovan and Cannon in the backfield. Hand off to Donovan, off right tackle. He stumbles forward for about four yards. Well, if you haven't seen South play yet this year, they're quite large on the offensive line and 
Eric Donovan's basically the recipient of that. He's got 698 yards and 10 scores this year. Tim Stubbe also has 370 yards out of the quarterback spot. He runs a great option play. Second down and seven, same setup, except we've got uh, Andy Shane split out and jumping offside is a big number 75, hard to miss him, Ricky Jones. Well, Ricky Jones is a good one. He and Trevor Klebacek form the left side of the line, big number 76. There you see big Ricky Jones, and now he swings over to the other side. Right, and they've done that. We've talked about that before. They've tried to move him from <laughs> side to side, so teams can't uh, always focus on one side. Stubbe with a quick drop back, throws it out to Wilson, but it's off of his hands, incomplete. It's gonna be third down and 12. Steve Fossard is the uh, center, number 53. See number 99, that's Jacob Pfeiffer. He plays tight end. Wilson and Chain are split out to the right. Chris Justice is the other guard, number 50. Stubbe fakes the dive to uh, Cannon, and then he tries to stay on his feet, but he was tripped and he fell. And they're gonna get a penalty on West for piling on. Dan Heslip uh, jumped on a Stubbe, jumped on top of Stubbe after he was down. Big break for the Red Wings. Yeah, that would have forced a fourth down situation, and Stubbe stumbled and bumbled and uh, got some positive yardage. But as you said, the uh, piling on is something just not very smart, and they're gonna tack on a personal foul of 15 more yards. That penalty will uh, give South the first down. They were short of the first down. Well, we've played two and a half minutes, Marty, and West has three penalties, and South has one already. I hope that's not something we see the rest of the night. Yeah, really. Terry Verstrati winds the clock. Lucas Wilson is in the slot on the right side. Donovan is the deep back. Pitch out, sweep to the right. Left, I mean, and Donovan is hit and pushed back at the 25 yard line. Good job by West to string that out. It was the short side, which is always difficult to run, but hopefully that'll set up something going to the right. Still got four yards though, Marty. Yep, that was a nice little pickup. I was gonna mention before when they got that shorter gain on the first down and then the five yard penalty, it really put them in a tough spot, you know, having uh, double digit yards to go for the first down. It's much better to have this. Second down. Stubbe fakes the pitch and rolls out to the right. He's gonna go, he's got some room and he's gonna be hit right near the 20 yard line just short of the first down. Very well written up there. Saw the flow all going to the left, nice fake. Rolled out, the receivers were covered and he did the right thing there and picked up some positive yards and forces a third and short situation. And when you're inside the, the 20 yard line or around the 20 yard line, this is two down territory. Oh, well, this uh, is where South has a big advantage on a lot of their opponents because they got those big linemen. Uh, Ricky Jones is set up as a left tackle, I believe he is. And off to Donovan, going to the right, and uh, he's got the first down. Not I think a lot. Jones of, was on the right side, actually. Yep, he was, and that's the way they went, and not a lot of room to run, and big gainer, but enough to get that first down, and that's all that we'll ask for right now. Ball is spotted on the 17-yard uh, line. Pick up a three yards that time by Donovan. First and 10 south, and they're on the move. And off to Donovan, he's gonna take it wide, and uh, Saul, or pardon me, West does a good job of stringing it out. And there's a penalty flag in the middle of the field, which uh, 
usually indicates holding on the offense. Have to see what happens with this play. Wow, that was so far away from the play, Marty. Donovan had three yards on the play, but uh, that's going to be nullified. Yeah, when they're talking to the white jerseys, I would think that means that they are discussing the penalty is against the uh, uh, South. Boy, that's a tough play, because like I said, that was way on the other side of the uh, play. There's a good shot of Jacob Pfeiffer. It's going to be first and 17, a spot fall, and they mark it at the 25-yard line. Jacob's just a junior. He feel, I feel like he's been around for <laughs> at least four years already, and he's still got a whole year left. He's a good hitter in football, and he's a good hitter in baseball. Say that again. Inside handoff to Stuby fakes the handoff and he keeps it. He's got room. He's going to go in. Touchdown. Stuby on a fake dive and then he kept it and scampered in. Well, I don't want to take everything away from Tim Stuby because it was a heck of a run, but what a fake by Ricky Cannon. Sold about three West players. And uh, as you said, Tim just kind of stuck it under his belly and off he was to the races. And with his quick feet, there he scampers into the end zone. Here you'll see it. Watch Ricky Cannon just sell this. And off he is. He even fooled our cameras. <laughs> I'll tell you, West bit on that fake, that's for sure. Line drive kick is up and good by Zach Cotter, just barely. With 7.18 remaining in the first quarter, South 7, West nothing. Twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? We're back at South High, and there you see part of that uh, homecoming crowd. They're all dressed up, and uh, they got a hold of uh, the fact that Brian put them on camera. Is that Brian Andrews again on camera? That guy works every week. He's very dedicated. He's the old pro. Right now, they're firing up T-shirts to the uh, students. I don't think any's gonna get through this screen, though. Yeah, really? Then it'd have to get by Dan Koopman. There's no chance of that <laughs> happening. Well, that kick sails out of bounds. That'll be a penalty on South. West will get it in good position. Did you say penalty again? Did I say penalty? You get a good shot of uh, head coach Dave Pfeiffer talking to the troops about blocking schemes. Got all that offense together. South made a great stand on the first West possession. Let's see if they can keep that up. Illegal procedure is signaled against South on that ball that sailed out of bounds and uh, West will have it. First and 10, spotted on the 35 yard line. The official's slow getting the ball out. Kevin Dart at quarterback. Good shot of him. Rolling out, little flip pass. It's almost picked off and then almost caught by the uh, West receiver, but uh, he couldn't gather it in. That was uh, Alex Schultz. Dropping the ball. That was a very, 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 very slow developing play and uh, could have been a south turnover there. Tell you what, Kevin Dart just threw a, was not a dart. No, sir, and uh, 
Salt had it defense very well. They uh, stayed in their in their uh, positions and uh, covered the sweep and covered the pass receiver. Inside handoff. The ball carrier is hit and pushed back. Pfeiffer and Zaletto right there for South, closing in on that one. Jimmy Baker, uh, the West kicker, had that carry. That was a good shot there, number eight, Alan Conrad. Guess Baker you could, picked up a yard, pardon me, Chris, go ahead. I was just gonna say, Alan Conrad, the senior kind of quarterback of the defense. Fake handoff by Dart, he's hit as he throws, it's complete. That receiver was uh, Chris Seidel. Dan Seidel's son, I'm sure Dan is up here in the booth. Uh, doing some work with the football team. Well, once again, that ball just doesn't get there very quickly. And uh, South should read that and anticipate that. And I'm sure that the uh, coaching staff has taken good advisement of that. You don't have to probably drop your guys too deep with that. And it looks like we're gonna get a... Officials time out. Uh, somebody lost a pad or something, looks like. Starting to get a little, is it getting a little foggy out there? Or? I just thought it was my glasses. You know, it could be the windows, they're a little foggy. <laughs> no, I think it's getting a little foggy. Not a very good snap back, but the punt is away. Taken by Miller. And then he's hit and spanked back. He got it up to about the 37 yard line. He's still on his feet. Now he is dropped. Boy, very slow whistle on that, eh, Chris? I would say that. And look at where he's being, where they're spotting the ball at the 34. I mean, forward progress. I think it's going to be about the 30. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say the 29. I'm sorry. But boy. And that's bad. Yeah. I and mean, he caught the ball practically at the 36 yard line. He got. March back there and uh, South's just gonna have to go a little farther this time to get their score. Well, it's Cannon and Donovan in the backfield again. We have wide receivers left and white, right. In motion is Wilson. Handoff that time, Cannon does get it. It's a couple of yards, not much there. Well, we've talked about this before. You have to do that, those dives, to uh, set up the pitches and the uh, outside game and the option play and keep those linemen on, uh, honest, which will create easy opportunities later. Good setup play there by Coach Pfeiffer. Well, we saw that. Uh, what game was that where they set that uh, dive play and then uh, Stuby ran wild in the second half? Well, North and that, Beaver Dam both. Yeah, especially against North. Donovan on the sweep right, he's hit and spanked right at the line of scrimmage and pushed back and there's a flag on the field. And another penalty flag down. We we've might be here till Saturday. We've had a lot of them in the first quarter. And they're talking to West. Well, by the time you watch this tomorrow morning, you'll know how uh, North did against Southwest. That's the other big game in the Valley tonight. Yep. Holding is on South and they decline it. That's surprising. Donovan was stopped for a no gain. Wow. It's gonna be third down and nine. Ball spotted on the 30-yard uh, line, about. Stubbe with a quick out to Wilson. He's cut off at the pass and ridden out of bounds at about the 35-yard uh, line. Good play by West. Well, I said in the opening, I wonder if they're gonna get their passing game going a little bit. And that was just a little flat pass out there, swing pass out to Wilson and see if he can elude a pursuer and couldn't quite do it so uh, South for the first time is going to have to punt the ball. Pick up of only about four yards on that particular play. 
That was the first completion by uh, Stubia of the night. Fourth down. Coming up and making the catch was Alex Schultz. Well, they gained some yards that way, West did. And a shorter punt. Yeah, not a good exchange for the Southsiders. They weren't able to move the ball. And uh, West has it in pretty good shape. We'll call it the 39 yard line. About a 27 yard punt. Pitch back to Lessage. He's hitting dropped in the backfield back to the 35. Nice play, Will Hartman. Who's that guy? Yeah, who is that guy? Way to get through and up the line. That play just never had a chance, as I think it's gonna be the case hopefully all night. West is just struggling to get started here in the first quarter. The South defense is really bearing down on him. Second down, make it 14. Alex Schultz is wide right. Dart dropping back. He's got players at his feet as he releases it. Oh. And then they're gonna call a penalty on that. That's terrible. That, well, I'll tell you, <laughs> that was nowhere near. There's Chris Hine, the defensive uh, coordinator. That play had no chance. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of penalties so far, but I'll tell you, that ball was thrown so far off, they may pick this up. That well, would be I think the what happened, the coverage was so good, and then he threw the ball so poorly that uh, the, the receiver just turned into the defender. It wasn't a case of pass interference. Well, they don't see it our way. There's a good shot at Terry. Done a lot of basketball games, too. Good guy. He didn't make that call, though. He just had to enforce it. But I'll tell you, that was a hey. pretty iffy call. They all, they all dropped the ball on that one. <laughs> yeah, well, somebody should correct that. Inside handoff. Getting hit and hit hard was Steve Baumkamp. He was able to gain a couple of yards on that uh, dive up the middle. Give him a pick up a four. Second down and six. Here you see the fog a little bit. A good shot of the uh, Red Wing defense in the foreground. There you see the score south on top on a Stubby 25 yard touchdown run. Dart handing it off. And that running back, Baker, doesn't get very far. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Wow, a good pursuit there again by the uh, South Red Wings. Zaletta again. Travis Young over there. It's third down and six. Baker held to a no carry. Uh, pardon me, a no gain on the carry. Checking in is uh, Alex Schultz, number 15. West running a tight formation. Quick snap, dart dropping back, picks up a good block. His pass is uh, off the money, incomplete. He's trying to hit uh, Seidel on that play. Well, that play just also, too, is boggled up quite a bit there. Tell you what, the uh, offensive line for West has given him a little bit of time, but their uh, connection between receiver and quarterback is just very, very slow. It's gonna be fourth down. Ben Miller is back deep. I think it's Kevin Dart is doing the punting coach. He's hit and that'll be a penalty and that will be a good call. Will Hartman hit the punter. And that, did, that was not Dart, that's number 33. Corey Mefford is the punter. Well, well, well is right. <laughs> West is doing absolutely nothing on offense. 
but yet they're moving down the field and uh, basically on penalties and we've had a lot in this first quarter. There's still two minutes left. It's surprising we're down to that far. That'll be a 15 yarder and uh, put the ball down to the 31 yard line. Wow, we. Got to get some fire in the belly of the uh, Red Wings here. And uh, well, the defense has played well. It's yep. uh, well, key mistakes at certain points that are really hurting them. Dart trying to get around the corner, but uh, he is not. He's stopped by Conrad. Well, nice job again by South stringing that out. And then Alan Conrad coming up from his uh, safety position there and close the door on that play. Just gave Dart no chance to turn it up field because Zalettel and Pfeiffer and some of these guys are stringing that out. Loss of one on the carry. And uh, as I said, uh, Conrad came like a dart on the dart. A lot of intense fans in that picture, Chris. <laughs> well, it's not been a very exciting game so far. Well, he did a little slant pass and uh, he had his receiver open, but couldn't get him the ball. Alex Schultz uh, slicing across the formation. I like that South's ahead, but I just don't, you know, the referees have so, there's so many penalties, it's tough to build any momentum or get excited about it, because every time something does well, we, we stop for a penalty. Got a third down play, it's third and 11. Dart back, he's looking, lobs it deep, and it's incomplete. Conrad on the coverage, had Schultz covered like a blanket. And they're just hoping that that kid can run under it. It just doesn't seem any, uh, you know, consistency with this offense for West. Let's just throw it up there and hope the guy's gonna run under it. Well. I I'm of this opinion, Chris, when you're throwing uh, seven passes in the first quarter, you know, you're looking at 28 for the game. That's an awful lot for a high school team and that uh, I don't think bodes well. No, and uh, as I said, Dart doesn't exactly have the best arm that we've seen this year either. It's fourth down, a screen pass, Lessage has it, Dart's in and then he busts back out, but he's gonna be far short of the first down. Well, I don't know. Thought it at about the 22. He needed to get down to the 21. Well, not far short. See how what they give it here. They might have to bring out the sticks here. I think he's short too, Marty, but. Yep, they did hold him. That was a good safe play by West there. That was a good call, but maybe they should have done that a little earlier. Now they're gonna. Well, now they're gonna bring the measuring sticks out here, Marty. First they pointed south ball, and now they're bringing out the sticks, and uh-oh, they've already moved the chains, so they can't. They already moved the chains, you can't. They aren't, yeah. it's south ball. That's, uh, again, you got, oh boy. <laughs> you don't like that, do you? No. Me either. I mean, don't make a judgment, and go back, and then the chain gang moves it, and. Oh boy. South has it first and 10 and they have the lead. We're at the 117 mark of the first quarter. Again, uh, South got their score on a 25 yard touchdown run by Tim Stubbe. I was gonna say, we've been here so, so long in this first quarter already. What's another five minutes to walk out there and make sure. Hand off to Donovan, a deep back. He busts it off a right tackle. He's got the outside. He's got room to roam. He's out to the 50. Down to the 40, and near the 30-yard line, he gets bumped out of bounds. Now that's the kind of play to get the people going, and there you see the applause by the uh, fans there. That's the kind of play to get this crowd going here. And believe it or not, there's not a penalty flag. You're kidding. <laughs> that's the kind of stuff we need here. Get a little roll going here. Here you see it on replay. Good blocking on that side, and Wilson with a good block, and then Eric Donovan, who we've seen this year's just been an outstanding runner. 45-yard gain on that play. Makes it first and 10 south. 
at the 33. Stuvey gives it to the second back through Donovan, and he's up and inside the 30-yard uh, line, down to about the 29. Eric Donovan's leading the uh, conference in rushing, and he's just going to tack on more tonight. He should have a big, big night, picking up seven yards per clip. And uh, second down and six for South. It's also the leading touchdown guy as well. Yep, leading scorer in the Valley. Wide receivers left and right. Hand off to Donovan off a left tackle. And he's spun down near the 22 yard line. Klavacek with a big block there. Pfeiffer out there leading the block, uh, the push. Third down and one. Check that, it's a first down. Donovan gets uh, six yards on that play. First down 10, ball spotted on about the 19 yard line. Hand off to Donovan again, he's through the line of scrimmage, he picks up a block by Wilson, he's hit and dropped at about the four yard line. Well that's more than once now, we mentioned Lucas Wilson's name on his block, blocking there and again, leading the way out there, Donovan gets through there and we only got a click on the uh, second on the. Watch the blocking up front. Good block by Cannon. He really sealed his guy off. And that's gonna be the end of the quarter. South will have it starting second quarter play inside the five yard line as it is at seven nothing South at the end of one. Properly inflating my tires burns less fuel and saves me money on gas. Yeah, I'm saving Mother Nature from pollution, but more importantly, she saved me 11 bucks. Oh! Environmental Defense, get green. By keeping my car regularly tuned, I save money on gas and repairs. That also means cleaner air. You know, feels good to help save the cash planet. Environmental Defense, get green. For more tips, go to getgreen.com. There's a new experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. Discover Wisconsin like you've never seen before. Back at South High School, just running through some uh, quick stats for the quarter. Donovan has uh, eight carries for 79 yards, and uh, it's going to be first and goal South at the four-yard line. Stuby hands it off to Donovan. He tries to dice, slice and dice, and he's going to be stopped short of the end zone. Well, I think that was worthy. Give him, let him get in the end zone there, since he's done most of the work on this drive. It's going to be second and goal. Spot that ball on a two yard line to pick up a two for Donovan. Well, we mentioned it before, Chris, with the big offensive line, Saul certainly has the advantage of running the ball in short yardage situations. Cannon, the up back, leads Donovan through for an easy touchdown. He goes in untouched. Good run by Donovan, good blocking up front and South on top, 13 to nothing. Well, as I said, they had to go a little farther and they did. Of course, Eric Donovan's big carry of uh, 45 yards there helped. You're, You're getting a good look at it. Watch the way 75 collapses the line. Poof, knocked that guy right out of there. Cotter in to uh, kick the extra point. He had a low line drive. Stuby gets this high snap down. That kick is up and good with 11-17 remaining until halftime. It's 14 to nothing south. 
educate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop economies. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. Back at South High where Eric Donoval has just scored for South. There you see uh, Chris Vandervoort, I believe that was, snapping those. Uh, Very poor effort, I'll geez. tell ya. Chris, a former uh, Chilton athlete. That's up there. That could be a roof ball, just like Sammy Sosa's. <laughs> it's nice when I give stuff to the kids. It's even nicer when they give it to us. Yeah, I know they pay a lot of tuition out here at South High. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to get some kickbacks. Freebies. <laughs> I had my double brought, so I'm very content. I got my tickets in my pocket. I hope I win tonight. It's about time. <laughs> of course, it's the first game I bought the tickets. <laughs> well, you had a little dinner too, didn't you? Yeah. It's a good deal, all these tickets for five bucks. Better hide those from Mr. Koopman. <laughs> he can't hear me. Line drive kick is taken by uh, Baumkamp. He gets it up over the 20 yard line. That wasn't Baumkamp, it was Jimmy Baker. Well, something that I've noticed this year too, the uh, Sheboygan South special teams, especially the kick return teams have done very well, as, uh, very good as well. And there you saw a nice example there. There's Chris Hine, Mike Rank there behind him. Chris Hine, of course, we've mentioned before, former Wisconsin Badger linebacker and an outstanding athlete at Plymouth High School. And as we mentioned before, Dave Hine, his dad, uh, does the filming out here for South. And uh, he uh, retired as the uh, Plymouth baseball coach. And uh, he is a good guy. And as I've mentioned before, as is his son, Chris Hine. 14 to nothing south with 11.09 remaining in the first half. At the controls is Kevin Dart, sophomore left-handed quarterback. He's had a tough evening so far. Quarterback option, pitch back to Lessage. And uh, he's hit and dropped right at the 25-yard uh, line. Pick up a two yards. Well, Miller, uh, I think, just went by him, but a good play there by David George. But again, you just watch that play, it's just so slow developing. That's a pitch play and the ball hung up in the air. And by that time, the South defenders have time to react and just a slow, slow gainer. There's a good shot of Will Hartman. That kid can flat play. Second down and about eight or nine for uh, West. Dart throws it up for grabs up the middle. It's caught. Making the catch was Jesse Charles, he's down to about the, or out to about the 42 yard line. I think it was shot put it out there, Marty. That's and exactly what it looked like. That's a good explanation of that. And uh, looked like a South defender had a chance at Garrett Renzelman, kind of just overplayed it. Here you'll see it. It just kind of floats out there and just a tad behind was Garrett and it was completed there, but uh, you're not gonna get away with that, with that for long, West. I'll tell you that. First down run and uh, getting knocked back is uh, Jimmy Baker and nothing doing there. Good job there by the uh, Sheboygan South field. So I think he stumbled over the grass and by the time he got his feet together, South uh, Red Storm was right there. Loss of five on the play. Let's make it a loss of four, Chris. It's going to be second down and 14. Inside handoff. Trying to fight his way forward is uh, Steve Baumkamp, but uh, he doesn't get very far, maybe a yard or two. I think Fister was on the play, or Hartman again. Well, he got a great spot. Gets it right back to the original line of scrimmage. Baumkamp with uh, two carries for eight yards, makes it third down and 10. 
He's been uh, West's most successful runner so far tonight. Dart rolling out, fires a pass downfield, almost picked off, making the diving attempt, but uh, not able to catch up to it was Alan Conrad. Good pursuit there. And uh, Dart just kind of chucked it out over there. You know, I hope that kid pitches. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making me feel bad, because that's how I threw. <laughs> Donovan and uh, Miller are back deep for the Red Wings. Doing the punting is Corey Mefford. West is short a few players here. And now we're gonna get a timeout. You are absolutely right. Timeout West, we'll take a short break with 8.47 remaining until halftime. South on top, 14 to nothing. We love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music... Like Twinkle Twinkle? Uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. To find out how children learn and grow with music, visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see... Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does. Get a good shot, another uh, very nice shot by Brian Andrews. Andy McKillop is working the top camera. Kerry Kautzer's in the truck spinning the dials. My partner is Chris Wright and I'm Mike Martin bringing you uh, this evening's ball game. It's homecoming 2003, Sheboygan South hosting Green Bay West. Uh, we mentioned this in the opener, Chris, this is a very important game for South. They need to have two of the last three to uh, qualify for the playoffs. They've got a good start. Coming up and making the catch is Donovan at the 31. He's out to about the 42. Nice little punt return for Donovan. South will have it first and 10. Looking over some of these first half stats. I've got West with uh, six carries and they have 10 yards. Check that, one, two, Three, four, five yards. So not much doing in the running department and they don't have much going in the second quarter in the running department either. Cannon and uh, Donovan are the backs. In motion is uh, Lucas Wilson. West blitzing up the middle and uh, they read that play right. Making a good play was Dan Heslip. Heslip got Dan Donovan in the backfield for a loss, a one. That you don't see very often. Eric Donovan being shut down. Second down and 11. Stubby barking the signals. Taking a long time. And it looks like they were blitzing a fake dive. Stubby rolling out, he's got a receiver making the catch and doing the running is uh, Danny Teller and he gets it out and down to the 40 yard line of Green Bay West. Why? Good, piss and, good <laughs> pitch and catch. Yeah. Watch your mouth, Martin. Yeah, I was gonna say here that, uh, you know, he's got such quick feet, we've talked about this. Tim Stubby gets to that spot so fast, see how he did that. and locates his receiver and uh, Danny Teller just goes right into the middle of the zone there and they threw it right in there and a nice pass and catch as you said, Marty. And Good enunciation, Chris. Well, I was just gonna say, it just uh, <laughs> 20 yard pickup on that play. Yeah, very well planned out and just like you draw it up. Inside handoff, fake inside handoff to Cannon. Stubby fakes Lessage, he's down to the 20, down to the 10, he's gonna go, touchdown for South. I'll tell you, Stubby gave Lessage a hip and took it away and scampered right in the end zone. Yeah, and <laughs> he just, uh, the way he fakes things out there, you just, it's hard to pick up. And uh, defenders don't know, and as I said, because of his 5'8 uh, stature, here's a nice replay. Again, they're all following Canyon, and he just goes right to the seam, and he just has to juke run. Guy there, Lessage, and off he is to the races. You're not going to catch him. Whew. 
Long plays have been the order of the evening so far in the first half. Stubbe doing the holding. Cotter's kick is a pop-up and good. 21 to nothing with 7.17 remaining until halftime. It's all about potential. The opportunity to look inside yourself, to challenge yourself, to be better than you ever dreamed imaginable. Junior achievement is also about dreams and the potential to make those dreams come true. JA's free enterprise education programs help kids say, I can, when everything around them says, you can. Junior Achievement, let their potential be your inspiration. Uh, the thing you worry about a little bit, Chris, you know, South has a 21 to nothing lead and they are playing quite well. Chris Vandervoort has been replaced. <laughs> Get Chris back. <laughs> but uh, you know, one of the things you worry about is you don't want to have a letdown. You, know, you want them to keep playing hard and keep the intensity. Yeah, very good uh, point. Again, you you go into this game where you you know you think you're just going to take care of business easily, and you can see the fog kind of starting to build up. It's been such a wonderful, warm week this week, and. Uh, the lake is uh, starting to do its duty and uh, put some fog in there. But I was going to say, you just kind of take this game for granted, but uh, you are a better team than West. You just want to make sure and get that job done. And let's close the door in the first half. Not a very deep kick. It bounces on about the 18, picked up at the 17, and being run out by Jimmy Baker. And he gets it over the 30-yard line. First and 10 West. Let's see if Chris Hine. Well, one thing South has done to uh, West is they have really put a, the clamps on the running game. I was just going to say, let's see if Chris Hine one more time can uh, stop it. Stop this uh, drive right here and get the ball back and see if he can get another score before halftime. Take the inside handoff, Dart throwing it right up the middle. He's got his receiver. He made the catch, Jesse Charles, and then he fumbled the ball. Let's see what the call is. They might be calling him down. All the officials are looking at each other. They don't know what to call. Was it a catch and a fumble, or what the heck? Timeout. Uh, Charles was hurt on the play. Let's uh, take replay. The referees won't have benefit of this, of course. He's hit. He had the ball, and it was jarred loose before he went down. It should be South's ball. But uh, I don't think they're going to get it. That's uh, unfortunate. What the heck? They allow the play to stand. It'll be a 16-yard reception. You get a shot of me and my cub hat and Chris Wright. Give him a smile, Chris. Well, I'm kind of <laughs> upset about that again. That's my uh, stare look of because uh, I think that South should have the football. Look of uh, bewilderment is yeah. more like it. Be Two nothing Cubs, you guys will know the score by the time you see this broadcast. Well, it's a first down. West has it at the 47. Dart hands it off to Lessage. He goes deep into the backfield, but he was able to turn the corner and get positive yards. Yeah, they went to the uh, long side of the field there, and you're right, Marty, because he's got to string it out so far, he did get to gain a few yards, but I thought uh, South did a nice job over there containing that play and limiting the, the, ground, the uh, ground game and the uh, gain. I'll tell you, he ran about uh, 50 yards to gain two, because he went pretty far deep in the ends in the backfield. Here you see Billy Wilson. He's at all these games. Second down and eight. Dart back, he throws one out, he's got his receiver. Alex Schultz, but it went right through his hands and uh, boy, that was one he should have had. You know, I've called that 15's name about five times and I still got this mental block. I'm still looking at Cecil Cooper. <laughs> well, he doesn't have hands like Cooper, I'll tell you that. 
Well, he also doesn't have, well, he does have gloves. <laughs> <laughs> they all wear gloves now. Good right night. up the middle, Hartman's got him wrapped up and he pulls him down. I think you're gonna get a hold on West Tuge. Let's just take the sack. Hartman yep. doesn't want to lose that sack. That's going to force a fourth and a long way if you decline it. It would uh, seem like the uh, option to do, except the, p the play and not the penalty, and that's exactly what uh, South is going to do. It's a loss of five yards. Well, we ask and we received. Coach Hines defense stood, except for that one little play where they should have got the ball back. And now the uh, West has to punt again. Back deep, Donovan and uh, Miller kick is away by Mefford. Miller makes a great catch at about the 32. He gets it out over the 30, and then he's dropped near the 38-yard line, but a, I thought it was a real nice catch and run. Yeah, it was kind of like a pop-up punt, and uh, Steve Zaletto there with a little extra little pop there. Steve's not afraid to hit one more uh, opponent. He likes to hit. Yeah. First and 10 south, ball on the 38 yard line. We have 6-12 remaining until halftime. It's 21 to nothing south. Inside handoff. Nope, nope Stuby kept it. Stuby kept it, wow, had me fooled. Stuby kept it, and uh, we're going to give him a no gain on that. It's going to be second down and 10. I don't know, I didn't give you this, but we had a number change, Chris. Adam Suntag in the program is 58. He's actually 78. Yeah, he's been that way all year, and every time I come here, I forget. But uh, he's also one of those big uh, offensive linemen. Lucas Wilson in motion across the formation. Fake the inside handoff. And then he wide goes deep, open. he's got wide open is Pfeiffer. And they're gonna catch him. He's gonna be ridden down at about the 25 yard line. How the heck could you miss a big guy like that? Oh yeah, he got behind three of the uh, West secondary guys and he was wide open. Stuby just kinda had to elude a tackle or wait a second, otherwise he could've put a little more uh, oomph on it. Here you'll see it. Tim just rolls to his right. Kind of fake to play the play and then throws it up there and there you see Jacob wide open. And again, a nice play there for 30, South. And yeah. they're gonna they're in good shape again here on the 25. For 37 yards that play went. Stubie's got 57 yards passing so far in the quarter. Donovan wide open, he got a great block at the line of scrimmage and he's gonna go in, touchdown. He picked up a great block right at the line of scrimmage. I didn't catch who threw it, but uh, he went through that line untouched. Yeah, wow, quick burst too. That's Donovan's second touchdown of the game. Stuby has the other two. The South like to be back home or what? <laughs> yeah, really, here we see. Let's see who threw that great block at the line of scrimmage. Again, I think that was... Uh, I think it was Klavacek again. Klavacek rode that guy out. The other time it was uh, Ricky Jones. That kick just got by the defense and it's up and good well, by Cotter and it's 28 to nothing south with 4.51 remaining in the first half. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. 
An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy-to-manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, <laughs> that's the easy part. 62 yards and three plays, Chris. He had the 37-yard completion, Stuby to Pfeiffer, and then the 25-yard touchdown run by Eric Donovan. And there you see uh, the grunts in the trenches. And they're doing their job, there's no question about it. And I think Eric Donovan, after he watches this tomorrow, after I tell him this, better uh, buy those guys pizza. Exactly. As those guys uh, sure are uh, giving that kid a chance to win a conference uh, rushing title. Ball is picked up at about the 13 yard line and then hit and stacked at the 20 was the uh, West return man. I believe that was, uh, yes it was, Luke Lessage. Well, we got our stop, we got our score. Now we gotta put this one away here in the first half. We can't allow any uh, big plays, which uh, South has done the last couple weeks. Let's just put them down right here and have a nice big lead going into halftime. Could be a quick second half with a score, another score by the Red Wings. All right, did you see that article in the paper about the uh, running clock controversy? Of oh yeah. Dwight Tolkien had written something. Yeah, about the fact that maybe to let allow other kids to play. Right. But I, uh, you got a legitimate point, but it also gives uh, less chance for people to get injured, also. Right. But uh, and I also like the fact that uh, if coaches do the the correct way, they are playing their second, third, and maybe fourth running backs, and so letting those kids play or linemen and. That gives them those kids a chance where in a close game they may not get those opportunities. The only bad thing about that is with the running clock they don't get as much time. Fake and then picking it off is Alan Conrad. Dart's pass was uh, woefully short. Conrad made a good read, cut right in front of the receiver and made the catch. The other thing I have about that Marty is with soccer now being a sport, Teams don't have as many kids that go out for sports. I mean, with well, cross they, country and they got all these sock, options, right? And so there's not as many kids on the bench here. You'll see the replay, and it was just a matter of time before we we're going to get an interception. And and uh, Alan Conrad got that. But I was going to say that because there's so many more sports, there's not as many kids to choose from, as is the case here at South, where they don't even have a JV team. Um, makes it kind of it's it's a lot different than it was uh, 20 25 years ago. First and 10 south, ball spotted on the 33. Fake handoff to Donovan. Stuby rolling out to his left. He's looking for a receiver. He fakes the throw, he keeps it. He's down to the 20. And he's gonna be hit inside the 15 yard line and stopped, but a great uh, fake to Donovan and then a great fake on the pass. Yeah, he was over the line of scrimmage when he faked it too. Uh, the West guys don't know that, but as, as you said, with that fake, he froze the West guys and off he was to the races. And a chance to watch. He gets very close when he does the fake. Yeah, he, he would have been over. Just like a Mikulski was over in that Packer Bear game. <laughs> he was not. <laughs> <laughs> he was not. He was way over. 20 yard pickup by Stuby Ball spotted on the 13, first and 10. Second back through Donovan again, almost untouched till he gets to the end zone. 13 yard touchdown run, very little resistance by the West defense now. Yeah, as that picture shows, that's what Wes is seeing, fog, because that's all the effort they're giving. And uh, I hate to say it, but this game is over. You might be right. <laughs> well, with the way the South defense just denies any chance for Wes, and Wes is, like I said, limited with players and limited with uh, skilled players that uh, that kick is up and good by Cotter. Again, one of those line drive kicks, but uh, West didn't get the rush up the middle, so he didn't have to worry about that. With 3.30 remaining until halftime, 35 to nothing, south. You know, we sing for millions of girls, but helping out in schools, that's the real deal, baby. 
I know our love can multiply. I'm the cute one, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been backstage before? Cause you're the exit. I think you'll find that gravity is key in what I do. Once was one, but now we're two. I'm spinning out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Back at Soul Thigh, we're gonna have to break out some stories from the 60s for the second half, Chris. That's gonna leave you out of the chit chat. <laughs> well, it's nice to see South got back on track. As we said earlier, uh, three weeks ago, they their road schedule this year is just a bear. And uh, let me tell you, when you gotta travel to uh, Preble and Manitowoc and Notre Dame, well, they got a big one coming up on October 23rd. That's the uh, final night of the regular season. They play Green Bay Southwest. And that's a Thursday game, so he fans us. Uh, TV8 will be there. Yeah. But you, oh, the up back takes it and gets it up to the 40 yard line. Yeah, Bringing that, the ball back was uh, Tim Devely. Yeah, that's a Thursday game because the playoffs, of course, start the following week, I believe, on a Tuesday. So they always try to get that. Uh, Thursday game or those early games in and they get the pairings out and uh, hopefully we might have something we've never had before possibly two Sheboygan teams in the playoffs this year and uh, maybe we'll cover one if we get a home game. I was uh, looking at my uh, WIA bulletin the other day and uh, they had eligible schools for playoffs and uh, both Sheboygan North and South are eligible on our pardon me have open open fields. All right for any of those playoff dates, so uh, hopefully Sheboygan will get one. Well, you would think that if... Uh, Inside handoff to the second back, Tim Devely, I believe it was, on the carry. Uh, check that, there was Lessage. You know, oh, if, Devely. Yeah, if South finishes in the upper division, maybe in second place, they have a chance, you know, to, uh, to maybe host one of those games. If they're a one or a two, they might have a chance or North on that matter, if they, you know, beat Southwest and Southwest, you know, maybe loses the next uh, three games and either South or North runs it, uh, excuse me, runs the table, then they can get that uh, home field. Jimmy Baker, the second back through, uh, no gain on that play. Let's just have those, one of those teams make it though, that's what would be, uh, or both. Well, North has a tough game tonight. We had mentioned that. Uh, of course, our fans, as they watch this game, will know the outcome. Well, they finish with uh, East and West, uh, who are you know, basically down on the bottom of the schedule. So the schedule favors uh, North's chances. They only need two more wins, so a loss tonight still uh, gives them hope. Second back through is Devely, and uh, he's hit and dropped at about the 46. No gain again. Yeah, Preble, excuse me, South on the other hand travels to uh, Green Bay Preble next week. Uh, and they're struggling. And uh, Green Bay Southwest, of course, as you mentioned before, Marty, so uh, they're gonna have to take one of those two. Uh, hopefully they take care of business next week at Preble, which is a tough place to play. Uh, and as we said before, South has struggled on the road. Their only victory is at Green Bay East. So they're gonna have to get it done on the road. Well, interesting set of circumstances here, Chris, on fourth down, West. Well, they are punting. And uh, not being able to handle the punt was uh, Schultz, and he's gonna get hit and dropped at about the 33. Hey, Steve Zaletto, just finished him off earlier there. Jesse Charles, <laughs> that was. Kind of slipped through him there, Steve Zalello, number 41. Kind of slipped through his hands and then re-grabbed him and uh, down he went. First down south, a loss of 14 on the play for Charles. Well, this by far, Marty, has been the best year of football that we've televised for wins, I'll tell you. Oh, for sure, not even close. First and 10, Red Wings on the 34, pitch back to Donovan. he cuts it back, spins off a one tackler and he dives near the first down. They're gonna spot him, I believe, at the uh, 24. He'll be close. Just a junior. 
And he's been fun to watch this year. Him and Tim Stubbe are juniors, and Jacob Pfeiffer's a junior. Wilson uh, moving out to his position on the left side of the formation. Stubbe barking out the signals. Big pitch. Ricky Cannon that, jumped early. Yeah, I thought I saw that too. Pass is complete to Shane. He's in the end zone, but uh, I believe that one's gonna be called back. Yeah, I think uh, Ricky Cannon jumped a little bit early there on the count and they uh, caught him there. Nice little play though. Very nice. Uh, Andy Shane broke uh, wide open at about uh, 12 yard line and uh, Stubbe hit him with a very nice pass in stride. It was yeah. just a matter of running to the end zone. Yeah. Unfortunate for uh, Andy, it's gonna be called back. Yeah, he just went right across the uh, middle of the field there and caught the ball and into the end zone. Second down and six. I say you call run play to Donovan here and then put Shane back in there and run that same play. Wide to the right is Travis Wilson, number 19. And off to Donovan, he cuts it out to the left, he breaks to the outside, now he's cutting it oh, back, he no. fumbles the ball. And a big pile up. 18 guys near on the, the ten, pile. Near the 10 yard line, West signaling that they have it. Well that's always the right thing to do is just get by the pile and point the right direction. <laughs> and it's so small. <laughs> Boy, West can't get a break, can they? I think Jacob Pfeiffer uh, under there. There you see it. A lot of juking, but as you can see, that ball was kind of hanging out there. Eric, keep that tucked under there. And uh, <laughs> first thing you see is all those white shirts pointing, but uh, unfortunately for them, big number 99, Jacob Pfeiffer, I believe, recovered the fumble. 19 yard pickup by uh, Donovan. Okay, here's where you throw it to Shane here. He's over here on the right. It's wide open if he wants to cut it in. Stubbe pitches it back to Donovan. He eludes one tackler and then scampers into the end zone. Yeah, and another thank, touchdown. Yeah, for Donovan. And thank uh, number seven, by the way, Andy Shane, who had that touchdown called back there. He had the key block. Good call on that one, Chris. I didn't see that block. I always like to give credit to those uh, people who throw the blocks for the running backs. You know, they're the ones that get their names in the paper. It doesn't say. In the uh, scoring highlights, uh, Shane throws a great block for him to go for the touchdown, unfortunately. And like I said, uh, when tomorrow afternoon or when this season's over, pizza for that offensive line, because they do a heck of a job for those kids. Well, there's only 31 seconds remaining in the first half, and uh, South has rolled up 42 points. It's 42 to nothing with South on top. It doesn't matter who you are, or what you drive, or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. Hey Chris, I think Donovan will hold on to the Valley lead in scoring. <laughs> I think I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right. Nice night again for Eric Donovan and that offensive line. And uh, we're going to have about a 35-minute second half. Four touchdowns. I don't have that many touchdowns when I played with Patrick in the backyard. <laughs> Bouncing ball is picked up at the 35 yard line. And ooh, that guy got crunched short of the 40. Returning the ball for West was uh, Jim Forstek. First and 10 West, ball spotted at the 39 yard line. It's uh, been all Sheboygan South in the first half. They lead it 42 to nothing. 
Stubbe and Donovan accounting for all the scores. Donovan with four touchdowns, Stubbe with two. And that should be it for the first half, Marty. Did you catch who uh, carried that ball? We wouldn't want to compromise my stats. I'm gonna let this run out. A well, great first half for South. Uh, unfortunate for uh, the West Wildcats. There you see it, 42 to nothing. South with a big first half and uh, they're gonna be celebrating a happy homecoming. art kids get the more it shows are yours getting enough art ask for more americans for the arts dot org take a deep breath it's all gonna be fine
317. To write letters to each other a lot. A lot of the notes, they were just really dark. Expressions of anger when he was mad, he hit things. He said something to me about uh, killing himself. You have to take it seriously. The risk is too great. You have to um, try and help them get help. Tell somebody, tell an adult, counselor, parent, whatever. What are you going to do? Let them destroy themselves? I, mean, I don't see much of a choice at all. We're back at South High School where uh, South had a big first half scoring 42 points. They rolled up 317 yards, 256 of those on the ground. Uh, Eric Donovan was the big back with uh, 15 carries for 157 yards. Uh, Tim Stubbe had uh, six carries for 98 yards and uh, Donovan had four touchdowns, Stubbe had two as the Donovan Stubbe show. Onside kickoff by West, and I think they've got it. Well, why not? Exactly. You're down 42 to nothing. 
Uh, why don't you set up something like that? We're going to see a probably a slew of new uh, players in, in the ball game in the second half, so we'll try to mention some of those kids here on homecoming. I was going to say, uh, Chris, the, the line for South in the first half was really outstanding, and that would be uh, Eisner, Suntag, Justice, Jones, and Klavacek were the main guys in the middle for uh, South High, and those guys were really outstanding. First and 10 West, ball at the 48. Second back through, making a carry was Steve Baumkamp. And uh, Alan Conrad's still out there, and he's uh, delivered his little shot there, number eight. Pickup of seven yards by uh, Bomb Camp makes it second down and three. Oh, oh spanked in the backfield by Zalettel. Is that West running back? Meet Steve Zalettel, number 41. Woofda. That young man. Uh, Probably wishes they just got on the bus and went home. Stopping the clock. Somebody forgot to pick up the kickoff tee? Nope, they're sending uh, the training people over to the uh, west sideline, so that's why they had to stop the clock. Third down and seven for West. Dart back, throws a shot. Nice pass there, Chris. Got his receiver in stride, and he gets it down to about the 26 yard line. Yeah, nice not, pass and catch, that one going to uh, Ricky Bay. Yeah, nice, probably the best pass we've seen all day from uh, Dart. Just a sophomore, but uh, has not looked very impressive at all. Twenty-yard completion on the play. First back through. There was Lessage on the carry. Not much up the middle. Nope. Like uh, Gavin Majorly made the play there. There you see the uh, Chris Seidel was on the carry. Defense for the Red Wings. Picks up a yard, makes it second down and nine. Dart throws it right over the middle. His intended receiver, Jesse Charles, not able to make the catch. That pass was a little bit behind him. Well, that's one thing they have did, done a pretty good job of, of getting it behind the seam of the linebackers and getting receivers there. The problem is they just can't seem to deliver the ball there or the receiver seemed to drop the ball. That time was a drop. Third down for West. Here you get a good shot of uh, Kevin Dart, number 13. He drops back, he's hit by uh, number 42 for South, David George, and then uh, finishing off Will the Hartman. tackle was uh, Mr. Hartman. Yeah, Will Hartman. Force, forces a fourth down play here, Marty. Ball spotted on the 28, loss of four. Well, I know next week he'll be out at Lakeland. That ought to be a good game. Lakeland's doing very well. Their big game is tomorrow, not tomorrow afternoon. Don't forget, you and I got a game on Friday too. Yep. Motion on West. You know, you know it's bad when the Green Bay West uh, coaches aren't even up here in the booth. They've decided to uh, spend the rest of the time on the sidelines. Yep, that is a bad sign.
Fourth down, fourth and uh, 18 for West. Saul scrambles to get set just before the snap of the ball. Dart hit as he throws. He got it out there, but uh, it's incomplete. His receiver, Anthony Jagodinski, was uh, double covered. Conrad was back there along with Matt Fister. Well, I think you're gonna see uh, the south offense for one more series here, Marty. And then they'll take the rest of the evening off. First and 10 south. It is Stubby and Donovan back there. And uh, Donovan busts it up over the 40 yard line. Nice pickup. Now they might not even finish the series, Chris. Well, at the rate they're going, their clock is just trucking by. It's going to be a fast, fast half. To be barking out the signals, the lines are set. Donovan trying to cut it up off tackle. He's hit right at the line of scrimmage. Good play by West. Dan Heslip, we've mentioned his name a few times. He's had a nice game. Tony Canales, number one, checks in the lineup. Give Donovan a pickup of one. Third down and one, long one. Tight formation, one wide receiver. Andy Shane splitting out to the left. Stuby fakes the handoff, fakes the pitch and keeps it and gets over the 45 for the first down. You know, it's kind of weird out there, Marty, if you look at the 30 on both ends. Yeah, it's all full of fog. <laughs> Almost looks like snow. But in the middle of the field, it's, uh, it's just fine. See what happens there. You see a good shot by uh, Brian Andrews of the Falk. <laughs> Pitch back to Donovan. He tries to pick up a block. He does, and then he tries to cut it to the outside, but he can't quite get the corner. He's pushed out of bounds right at the 50-yard line. Pick up a four yards on the play. Well, you're right, Marty. I wonder if they're going to finish the series. Uh, there's two very important ball games left for South. I hope that Donable or Stuby or one of these linemen don't get hurt here. I'm thinking the same thing. Because you know. there's a bigger uh, fish to catch out there, like Green Bay Preble in Southwest, to, uh, to reach your goal. First and 10, South there. You get a good shot of Stuby. Taking a snap from his center. Hand off to Donovan off the right side. He avoids one tackle. He's out in the open, down to the 40. Then he's tripped up, and he falls just inside the 30-yard line. Eric Donovan, another big pickup. He's going to have a, they keep him in there a little longer, Chris. He might have 200 yards on the evening. Oh, well, that I was thinking, too. You, you can't get hurt if you don't get touched. <laughs> <laughs> this is true also. And uh, he almost was, was Taking that right to the house. Nice 22-yard uh, pickup. Nice little stop there. 35 yards in the quarter. Puts him up over 180. Fake to the first back. Pitch out to Donovan. He's open. He picked up a couple of good blocks. He cuts it in. Back out to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown. 29 yards. Donovan. Oh boy, watch this. He picks up some good blocks from his wide receivers. It was that second one by Wilson, Travis Wilson that was. Well, this has been the most impressive thing for West. They really attack the uh, extra points well, but that's about the only thing that I've been impressed with them tonight. 
kick is uh, See? no good. Blocked. I'll tell you, he was getting tired. That was his seventh one. <laughs> With 3.04 remaining in the uh, third quarter, it's 48 to nothing. Sheboygan South. This is the story about a group of kids who volunteered. Do something nice for someone. We fixed stuff. Did some art projects with the kids. We fixed up this house. We worked in the woods. Cleaned up the park. Did something for the planet. We just did it. No other reason. And you know what? It was great. At first, they didn't know each other. Well, that didn't last long. This guy is really funny. Me? The Ace are my new friends. Are, are you into it? it? Call 4 H or check out our website at areyouintoit.com. Yards. Eric Donovan, 63 yards. Maybe we should have Jason Lederman fill in here and give some of that, uh, discussion here. He's too busy closing up shop. Doesn't want any of those uh, T-shirts to come flying through. Least he could do is find out the score of the Cub game. Zach Cotter getting set to kick it off. Back deep for West is uh, DJ Reagan, number 41. Taken by the up back. Oh, and he scoots through. He's going to be up in good position up to the 48 yard line. Taking it is uh, team captain Joel Charles, number 55. Well, there's Steve Zaletto on the play again. He must have about a dozen tackles. Well, some new uh, players in the game here. Well, Jesse Charles is still in there. He's been uh, Kevin Dart's most favorite target. Splitting out wide to the left is uh, Ricky Bay. Try to name some of the uh, other young men. Seidel is the up back fake to him. Going deep is Dart. Its pass is incomplete. Going out to Bay. Number 77, Adam Zelednik's in there. Number 72, Kyle Berlin is in there. Second down at 10. The uh, secondary Oop. remains the same. Yeah, one. we're under 150 in the third quarter. It uh, really is a quick uh, second half. Running play up the middle, nets uh, west about two or three yards. Yeah, and there's Berlin making the tackle right there, number 52. Here you see a shot of, shot of Eric Donovan, who's uh, earned the night off. Just your typical Friday night five touchdown day. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely right there. Third down, Dart dropping straight back, screen. throws the screen pass to Seidel, he's got it. But he's gonna be far short of the first down. Getting it down to about the 48 yard line, pickup of two yards. Matt Fister over there, as is uh, David George. Dart is two out of five in the quarter. Here's a happy Red Wing. We're we'll celebrating a homecoming victory, and South is one win away from the playoffs. Two tough ones, though, up the Green Bay Preble and uh, Green Bay Southwest. I'll tell you, if they stuff the run on Preble like they did tonight, they'll be just fine. Punt is away. Miller makes a catch, and then he loses it. Picks it up, and oh, he skips by. One tackler, but not the second. And now South is gonna have it inside their own five yard line. Well, you're gonna send out a new unit out here. And because of that, uh, <laughs> Ben Miller, you didn't help them out very much. <laughs> Cause they got to start inside the five. The new quarterback's gonna be Adam Math. He's number five. Timeout 
for South, and I think they're going to talk over what they're going to do no, on offense. Quarter. Oh, that's, that's the quarter. At the end of three complete, South 48, West nothing. What a child learns about violence, a child learns for life. Teach carefully. We can show you how. Act against violence. Call 877-ACT-WISE for a free brochure. What does being involved really mean? Is it making grilled cheese sandwiches for a sleepover? Staying for the curtain call at the talent show? Or learning the names of their favorite bands? Believe it or not, right now, there are parents just like you out there talking about things like this. From school to home, from friends to futures. And we'd like you to be a part of it. National PTA. Every child, one voice. Hard line. Inside handoff, skirting through. Chris Is Nava? Yeah, Nava. <laughs> Remember last time we were here? He got all those carries in a row. And, and for a while we thought that maybe Coach Pfeiffer was mad at him. <laughs> Nava busts up for a first down. Picks up 10 yards on that play. Niles Wenzel's in the game, number 15. Number 22 is uh, John Valdez. He's the fullback. Or excuse me, now it's uh, Jacob Billin Billman. Inside handoff to Nava, he gets it up to about the 19 yard line. Six, give him five yards on that play. Anthony Eisner in there. Jacob Kaling, number 66. Jacob Kaling, a former Jefferson student, uh, had a chance to just say hi as he was warming up prior to the game. Nice to see Jacob. I always like to see those Jefferson kids out for uh, extracurricular activities. Nava again, he breaks through. Oh, he almost broke that one all the way. He's dropped at the 30 yard line, an 11 yard pickup, and uh, Nava having a big night so far. John Lindsay's in there, number 63. One thing that South does graduate next year is their horses. They only return uh, one of their young men on the line, and that's a good one, Trevor Klabachek. But I'll tell you, they got some big boys coming up here. Um, I think Kaling, he's only a junior. Yep, and he's 250, 6'6", six, six, and... Uh, Kid ought to be out for basketball. Inside handoff, Nava breaks it right up the middle. He's down to the, up to the 50, down to the 40, and he's hit and dropped at the 32-yard line. Chris Nava. Good running. Corey Moss is in there. He's just a sophomore, 6'4", 255, and there's just... Big kids on this south side, and so they graduate a bunch of good ones. They got some big ones coming back, and here you see Nava running right through the middle there, and one guy's gonna catch him there. Twenty-eight yard pickup by Chris Nava. Math under center. Gives it off to Nava again, and he dives down inside the 30. Good to give some of these uh, young men work because they're going to uh, be filling up some of major holes that's going to be left by graduation next year. Corey Moss, you mentioned him in the in the line for uh, South. It's second down and eight. Nava right up the middle. He's Whoop. hitting stacked up at about the 26. He uh, comes in at the uh, whopping size of 5'4", 150. All right, maybe it says a little less than that, but... Uh, 150, that's what I played at. He's smaller than I am. Yeah, I think it uh, says 145. I was trying to make him... He looked bulkier. He looks bulkier than you now, too, Marty. And I don't know about that. That could be a good thing, though. We don't want to get too bulky at my age. 
third down play. Nava takes it off right tackle, and he's hit and dropped inside the 25. It's gonna be just short of the first down. Fourth down and one. Well, as you said, next week we get to see Sheboygan Luton for the first time, first season. They have a win already under the belt. They'll be traveling over to Kohler. Kohler's not doing very well this year at all. They haven't won a game. And I think they got a tough battle tonight at Howard's Grove. Lutheran has been coming on. They've been playing better as the season has wore on. Nava takes it up the middle, and I think he's going to have the first down right near the 20-yard line. Well, I know Lutheran lost to Howard's Grove, I think, 30-27, to 27, or only a three-point game last week, and Howard's Grove is, is, you know, one of the leaders in the CLC. Nava's got eight carries in the quarter, Chris. Uh, clock is rolling. We're at 7-12. Nava again uh, cuts it just inside the 20. We'll call it a two yard gain. West is getting a little better at these uh, running plays, Chris. Well, no, South's not gonna do anything to embarrass them. They're just running straight, uh, simple plays. Uh, either you can stop us or you can't. And, uh, and again, the question is, is Coach Pfeiffer mad at Nava? <laughs> Keep giving him the ball. Yeah. He's got, he, right now he's got as many carries as uh, Stubbe had for the entire ball game. And now he has more. Nava hit at the shoulder pads and he's stopped for uh, no gain. They're down. Stubbe finished the night with uh, seven carries, 102 yards. Donovan, I think I mentioned this, had 20 carries for uh, 220 yards. That's a lot of yards. It certainly is. Stubbe will finish the night uh, three of four passing for 61 yards, all of those happening in the first half. South content to keep it on the ground in the third quarter. Math tries to cut it back and he's gonna be stopped. I'll tell you, they kept giving it to Nava, and so the Wildcats just focused on him, and he didn't have the ball, but he took a humongous hit. And uh, he's a little slow back to the line, excuse me, back to the uh, huddle. huddle. It's like you took the hit. <laughs> Fourth down and nine. Five minutes and counting. In the fourth quarter, South on top, 48 to nothing. Homecoming 2003 is gonna be a happy one from a football standpoint. Oh, I think Nava should have cut that one back up because he picked up a pretty nice block from Jacob Billman. But uh, as it is, that ends that South possession. Some new South defenders in there, Mike Brooken, number 51, just a sophomore. 97, Andrew Hoppert. Andy was A1 this summer. Ah, yeah, that's right. For you fans that don't know about that, at the Sheboygan A's game, they have a mascot, A1, and uh, Andy was uh, A1 this summer. Of course, you wouldn't know it looking at his A1 music uh, head. There's a new new running back. You don't see 55. That's Joel Charles. He's the team <laughs> captain, Chris. He went out uh, at halftime and uh, represented West. South being represented by uh, four players. But uh, nice gesture by his coach to give him a running play. And he did a good job. Picked up six yards. Second down for West. Inside handoff again, Charles spinning his way up over the 30 for a first down. 
Not quite a first down. Well, yes, they are. They are going to give it to him. You know, he could end up with the most yards gained for the night. With a 55 number. <laughs> yeah, really. Leading ground gainer in the first half had only eight yards. Getting spanked down there was uh, Steve Baumkamp. He picked up nine yards. That's been the longest running play of the night for West. Chris Wright gonna go down, see if he can get an interview or two. West content to run it right up the middle. We're at 225 and counting in the fourth quarter. Getting off the pile was uh, Alex Schultz, but uh, making the carry was uh, bomb camp. And uh, we're gonna give him a no gain on that because it, he didn't quite get the first down. It's still third down. Well, they are gonna give him the first down now. Late setup. First and 10 West. Dart dropping back, throws one over the middle. Almost picked off by Zach Cotter. He got his big paw up there, knocked the ball up in the air, but couldn't quite come down with it. First pass attempt by uh, Dart in the fourth quarter. Dart dropping back again, throws it over the middle. Brushes off the fingers of Ricky Bay and then Conrad and Garrett Renzelman unable to come up with that tip ball. It's gonna make a third down and 10. Again, South with a huge lead. They're up 48 to nothing. They had 42 points at halftime. They tacked on another touchdown in the third quarter on a 29 yard touchdown run by Eric Donovan, his fifth touchdown of the night. And a penalty on West. Five yards, deep pass, just out of the reach of the intended receiver. Jim Forestek. Another quick play by West. The pass is uh, fumbled and then recovered by South. I have to admit I had my head down writing on my paper when all that took place. And that's the ball game right there. Clock runs out. South wins their homecoming game in grand fashion, 48 to nothing. When we come back, hopefully Chris Wright will have a couple of interviews and I'll wrap up the broadcast with some stats and uh, tell you about some games that are upcoming for TV8. Diagnosed with cancer as a baby because she was told she would not live to be nine because she should have a chance to grow up. Each year, thousands of children learn they have cancer or another deadly disease. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital needs your help to research cures and treat these children, regardless of their parents' ability to pay, because they deserve to dream. Call now to learn more about St. Jude's life-saving work. South High School, where the Red Wings have defeated Green Bay West 48 to nothing. Down on the track is Chris Wright with a couple of the South High players. Welcome back to South High with two of the uh, South Red Wings tonight. Uh, Trav Travis, you got things going right away. A uh, couple of tough weeks on the road, but it was nice to play in, in front of your home crowd again, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, that was real nice. We, we, we've been playing uh, good against home the whole season so far. 
Yeah, I said right away, uh, little home cooking is always uh, nice, nice to get you guys started. Uh, I said at the beginning of the show, I said maybe to throw in some passes early and get you involved a little bit, and uh, they did that, tried to get you involved, didn't they? We were doing that, but the run was working real nice for us tonight. Uh, we stuck that. Came all good. Yeah, uh, Eric Donovan, uh I don't know if you know this, he only had five touchdowns tonight. What a, what a night <laughs> yeah. for him, huh? Yeah, only five, yeah. That's, nice. that's an okay day, yeah. <laughs> uh, next week you got Green, Green Bay Preble up there, chance to make the playoffs. Offense going to be ready? Yeah, we, we'll get a tough week of practice. Coaches get us ready. We'll, I think we'll do pretty good. All right. Defense stepped up again, shut down the run, something you guys have been doing all year. Uh, and uh, that's something you guys wanted to start tonight? Yeah, the last couple of weeks wasn't our best uh, defensive performance, and then we had a great week of practice now, and it really paid off. <laughs> I think I called <laughs> Lucas Travis before. Uh, uh, I thought uh, Steve Zaletto had a big game. He had a yeah. bunch of tackles tonight, too. Yeah, he played real good. D-line, everyone. Everyone was doing what they had to do. Turned out, played good. Yeah, I know, like I said before, uh, to Lucas, you got a t couple tough games on the road. Uh, it must have been nice for you, too, to play in front of this homecoming crowd and get a, you know, homecoming victory. Yeah, playing against our, in front of our own fans, it's a lot funner. A lot of people here cheer us on, a lot of fun. Well, I hope Chris Hine uh, has you guys ready for next week. Tough, rough, tough road ahead. Congratulations on the win, gentlemen. We'll send it up to Marty. Thank you. Good job on the interview, Chris. A uh, couple of stats of note, uh, we'd mentioned this earlier in the ball game. Eric Donoville finished the night with uh, five touchdowns, and uh, most of them long ones. He finished up with 220 yards. Tim Stubbe had over 100 yards on seven carries, and then Chris Nava, with heavy action in the fourth quarter, finished with 11 carries and 67 yards. South improves their record to four and three overall. Three and two in the conference. They need one more win to qualify for playoffs. They're gonna be hoping they do that next week. Uh, our next broadcast is going to be at Kohler when Lutheran invades uh, the Bombers' territory for a game, and uh, that'll be our first broadcast of the Lutheran program that they've uh, come to varsity play this year. They had uh, two years of uh, JV action. And then next Saturday, TV8 will be out at Lakeland College for a 1.30 game as they host Concordia of Illinois. I want to thank the crew for the great job they did. Uh, congratulations goes out to uh, Dave Pfeiffer and his winning team on a 48 to nothing uh, homecoming win. Uh, my name is Mike Martin saying uh, goodbye for Chris Wright and the rest of the crew. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week.